I know where that goes because it has to connect to that point on the section on the other side. So I translated a side view uh, line drawing, right, or side view of what I want my window graphic to look like, and translated it out to the surface of my vehicle. Okay, I'm going to repeat basically the same process here to find, I'm going to put a, a set of canard wings on this guy at the front, a little control surface out off the front. There's the end of the wingtip. And here's the one on the other side. It's going to be, have to go straight over on that line, but where is it? Uh, in this case, when I do the bigger features like this, and they're kind of a long ways away, I like to go ahead and do the auto foreshortening method and transfer that point across. Just to double check, you know, little details don't really matter that much um, if they're off a little. Nobody's going to pick that up, but if you miss the big ones, all right, you can really get in trouble. There's a nice uh, leading edge there, and those are the same. It dips down a little. There's the trailing edge. Again, drawing right into the center of my vehicle, sort of ignoring the fuselage uh, shape. Not worried yet about the intersection, just worried about drawing those guys symmetrical. Now we can worry about the intersection. All right, true section. Let's see, go up and back. Let's see, that's about where it would touch that section. Okay, there's a little, another dividing line across the top surface. Again, trying to find my perspective lines. I just dropped in a, uh, another section there. And there's the intersection.